FA Cup time versus Derby County. We're playing at home. Transfer market ended well, yesterday, in-game yesterday. And also in yesterday's episode. And we are continuing in our FA Cup series. We won already some matches in the FA Cup. And now it's against Derby County who play one league higher than us. And well, on paper, they should be better than us. But of course, you never know. And we just have to take a look and see how it goes. Jerome now for Mo and to Mohammed and Straker and there is Mosin who make is making his debut and immediately immediately in his debut match and also in his home debut match <laughs> after five minutes he already scored and well for a striker that must be great to score Immediately in your first match, and Barisha could have <laughs> could could have doubled up our lead, but he didn't score. Then in the second half, in 65th minute, well, this, well, well, of course this is hand this is a handball of Milinov from Milinov, and well, that's a penalty. This time, it's correctly, it's a correct penalty, and Robinson versus Wingert and Wingert. Goes to the left and Robinson scores. Equalizer in the 66th minute. And it meant for us that there's going to be a replay again. Just as against Stevenage, there's going to be a replay. But three days after Derby, we already had to play against Plymouth. The second match of the two. In the semi-finals of the Johnstone's Paint Trophy. And well, nil-nil is enough. Because we already scored an away, scored an away goal. And the match had ended 1-1. But well, if they score, we just have to attack, attack, attack. So I'm not going to play full uh, attacking now Barisha already in third minute and a save from the goalkeeper he forces the goalkeeper to a save but the match well in, until the 90th minute it was still nil nil and well no team was was going to score nil nil was enough and I wasn't for really forced to attack and to do something so well, no, no, was enough. Let's continue with again. This is one day after we've played against Plymouth. We already had to play against Derby County. It's insane these calendars from FIFA. It's so glitchy, man. How are you? How how can you as, as club be able to uh, one day play against Plymouth and then again away in Derby County? That's insane. But. Already in the ninth minute or the tenth minute, it's again Robinson who opens the score for Derby County, and that means we really have to attack right now because we really need another goal. And now Coulson to Straker, and Straker, Straker does it immediately after we conceded the 1 0. Straker makes the equalizer. Great goal from Leon Straker, and after and two minutes after we conceded the goal, it's already 1-1. But in the 51 minute, Robinson puts the ball up and great save from Ringert, who was keeping extraordinary in these matches. Ward now, and interception by Azogwe, but. Still Ward with the ball. And it's still Ward. Poor defending from myself. Still Ward. And Ward scores. This is so poor defended, man. I have no words for this. 
can I can declare this this poor defending and two one for Derby and if we score another goal it means we're through to the next round but if we don't score it means we're out of the FA Cup and Coulson to Chambers and Chambers almost with an opportunity but we didn't score we didn't manage to score that goal that we really needed and that means we're out of the FA Cup guys well next time there are new chances well I'm looking forward to that it's now Empower League 1 time finally again an Empower League 1 match two points in hand and six points in depth and we have a better goal difference but it means we really, really have to start winning because our first position might come in danger if we don't and that's why I, well, I always play with the same starting 11 if everyone's uh, is fit so that's not that's nothing rare well I change Blanchett I put Blanchett in for Milo but Everything is stays the same when everyone is fit, and I, I really had everyone had to be fit because I really, really need those three points right now. And not only three points, I, need, I really need six points. But it's now versus Cheltenham, and after <laughs> ten minutes, Cheltenham already scored a one nil. Not so well defended. Viegas Amaral is playing because Seoko got injured and we're feeling that, we're feeling well, without Seoko, we feel that he isn't playing because it's a very poor defender, but then Straker with this goal, and look at that, what a goal, unbelievable, what a finishing from Leon Straker. Again, Straker with a goal, but look at that finishing. A volley from 20 yards away or 30 yards. And unbelievable goal. And after the break, again, it's an attack from Cheltenham. And again, Winger come out of, comes out of his goal. And that means there's no one in the goal. And Marlon Pack can easily score with this header. That's well, of course, I, I pressed the triangle button, but this is just a very big mistake. But we were going through and really had the score immediately after that. And then look at this shot from Berisha. I don't know what was what I was doing back then, but I managed to score two. Sick goals in one match. Look at this shot from Veton Barisha. What a shot, man. I swear to God, I wasn't using sliders. And what, what a shot. And this again, a shot on the post, and the goalkeeper managed to save it. Mohamed. Two minutes before the end, Mohamed. And he passes and the goalkeeper into the hands of the goalkeeper and he saves the ball. And now McGurk for Cheltenham. But a great interception. And Ali passes the ball to Guerrero. And look there, there's Berisha free. If he passes the ball off, it will be a free two. And Berisha with his second of the match. And he makes it 3-2 just before the end and we finally got those three points that we really needed because a draw would have been disastrous for us 3-2 and we only had to wait for the, the whistle of the referee for the end and when that was done I knew we had won three very very important points but we're not there yet. Wickham is waiting for us. And again, a very important match on our schedule. The first match of the season we won against Wickham Wanderers, so we draw against them. 
I'm not really sure about that, but we didn't lost and Wickham also promoted last season. So they should be on a little bit half league two, half league one quality. They're not standing very high. They're not ranked very high in the competition, so we'll have to see how it turns out, but three points are needed and I hope my players realize that. Two games in hand, now it's four points, but we can lose any points. I hope my players are aware of that, because we're going to take a look at this match and I really hope three points will be in it. Again, full strength, this time not Guerrero. Because he was not fit. So I let Azogwe play and Jerome. And Jerome because he is very pacey and can really is a really box to box player. And the twenty second minute Kamara with this great interception. And look at this. He's using his pace very well. Passes the ball off to Jerome. Jerome sees Barisha going, no offside, and in the twenty seven minute Veton Barisha scores the one nil for us. Again, Berisha with now his 14th goal of the season. And he's top scorer of the league with that amount. And in the second half, Wickham take this throw in. Great tackle from Milanov. And Mohamed passes the ball to Berisha. Berisha sees Mouwalad going. And Mouwalad with this great, great shot. And in the 51st minute, 2-0, we doubled up our lead, fought El Mualad, and that means victory is almost assured in this match. And although there was some pressure, we managed to get over the pressure and still play very consistent and win this match. Didn't concede any goals, so let's hope we can... Well, Make a, make a line of some victories. Really, and I want to thank you guys for watching. See you next time.